Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll show you the basic part setup. Um, when I first started the program, I'm going to preheat the bed and extruder because it takes a little bit of time uh, to get up there. Um, I have my file here, you'll see it in the preview. And what I want to do is make this the size of a keychain. So I'm going to have to edit the scale and a couple other things. Um, the rotation is okay. So the scale, I will uh, set maybe the maximum dimension in millimeters to be 50 millimeters uh, tall. That will be from the top to the bottom. And now that may have changed my thickness, and I want this uh, keychain to be a little bit thicker than 1.2 millimeters. So I might type 2 into the Z and hit enter, and you'll see that makes this a little bit thicker. Um, then I can, maybe I can make a bunch of copies of this one. I want to make more than one. So if I hit copy, you'll see I can probably fit nine on the plate. If I hit arrange, then it will center those, and then I'll click save and have those saved. And in the uh, preview box here, it will update to show me that I have indeed saved and there's nine on the bed. In the layer view, I can then click Generate, and it will now slice the file, applying all of our settings that are uh, shown here. So we have most of the print settings that are uh, shown. So this will include infill type and all these uh, layer thickness and all that kind of things. So you can see the outline of, of a skirt here, which is the extra lines added around the file. And if I go through the layers, I can see that we have some solid layers on the bottom that are red. Um, I can see that you know, we have some, some yellow layers here, so the colors are related to the speed that it prints at. Um, we may do certain things slower than others because the layers have to cool off between printing. And then we can see what layers are, are going on. So in this print, if I have one extruder, what I might want to do is print in dark blue for the background, but you can see that the face of my Husky is, uh, is elevated. So we have a 2D and 3D map here, and I can rotate this and see at which layer my Husky face starts to print. So that's going to be uh, actually layer 6 that I have uh, printing here. And over here I have select layer to pause, so I can type in layer 6 there and save it, and then my print would automatically stop at this layer and I could manually change filament by going into controls, retracting you know, the dark blue filament, and extruding in the white filament, for example. And when I extrude in new filament, I would have to make sure that I don't extrude too much or it's going to leave a big blob on my print. Okay, so that's some basic uh, things to show. We also have some print statistics here, how long it's going to take, how much filament is used, how much it's going to weigh approximately, and the volume. And if we have our computer connected to the printer while it's going, we can click this Sync to Print. And these will actually update uh, as the printer is printing. We can see where it, where it is at any given time. Under Options, we have some other fancy advanced features like uh, notifications. So. If you want to be notified when your print is done, you can either have the printer play a sound, which is a WAV file, you can have it send an email or a text message to your phone, which is pretty amazing. Um, with advanced functions, you can also set up webcams onto printers and control them remotely through, um, through a browser. So for example, the library uh, right now has printers going and you can watch them at any given time by going to a few different addresses and clicking the control tab so you'll see that they have one, one going there. They also have some time-lapse videos um, on some other printers that you can download and watch as well. So. Um, the EEPROM is some advanced settings, so that will include a, you know, stepper motor values and um, feed rates, speeds, all kinds of stuff. Um, this stuff you don't usually want to mess with unless you know what you're doing. It also has PID settings, which is uh, for temperatures, uh, set points, and, and how it applies heat to the printer.